everyone, I, hi everyone. Uh, just give me a sec to go around. Eh. Okay. Eh. Hi everyone. Sorry, this is a little bit of a weird setup, but hi. So we're gonna be making a dress today. And I'm just gonna start right away because I have to have it done by tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow, <laughs> by Friday because I need it then. So let's get started already. I'm gonna start with the little bit more boring step which is just to take the lace pieces and stitch them with its corresponding satin piece. Uh, that's something else. That is also something else. What? Yes, that's something else. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is... Uh, do my front uh, so this one goes with this one like that uh, unless I think the lace has a side not actually sure I did yeah okay. um I think this is the right side for the lace. Okay, so this goes with that. This piece, I think, is my back piece. Yes. So it goes with that one. And then these are my front side pieces, and so are these. Okay, let's start with this one. So, uh, yeah, I cut the lace very loosely and I'm just gonna sew it on the satin piece so it doesn't move around and I'm trying to m pin so different pieces together. I'm sorry, I'm I don't know the vocabulary for sewing in English, so I'm doing the best I can. I should probably pin this, that would probably help a lot. I'm trying to go fast because I need it for Friday and I was supposed to start working on it yesterday but then I was not feeling well so I didn't want to be horrible at sewing and completely mess up this project because I do have to wear it at an event that's going to be happening soon so it has to look decent uh, this is going to be good that. I'm just going to pin it in the corners. I don't usually like to pin anything. Uh, I try to avoid it if I can, but this is too slippery fabrics that I'm trying to sew together so even minimal pinning like this will help uh, okay so I'm just gonna sew all of it, sew that together all around at five millimeters about five millimeters away from the edge It 
doesn't have to be precise or anything since I'm only trying to keep them together uh, for now and they're gonna actually be properly sewn later. your fabric, you could be damaging your needle, your machine's needle, and you could be damaging uh, your pins. So you really don't want to do that unless you like have no choice and the fabric is just super slippery and then there's no way you can sew it without uh, with without the pins, but otherwise, don't do it. Especially it's, oh no no, place, bad. Um, with, uh, 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 with this kind of machine, it's not too bad, but if you have an industrial machine, you definitely don't want to leave the pins in with that. Because industrial machines are much stronger and they could break the pin and the pin can go flying somewhere and there's a chance that somewhere is going to be in your eye or someone else's eye so you definitely don't want to be doing that. Okay, first piece done. So as you can see now it's just both of my fabrics are stuck together. So now I just gotta do that with all of my other pieces. Uh, but I'm only doing that for the bodice because the skirt is going to be two different pieces. Because uh, 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 the satin underneath is going to be just an A-lined a -lined skirt and the lace skirt is going to be a circle skirt. So they're not going to be stuck together. Let's pin that one too. Uh, oh, <coughs> would help if I put it the right way to begin with. Okay, I can't see what I'm doing. Do do do. So I'm just gonna pin it. And the corners again. Although this one I cut um, a lot less uh, precisely, so I don't need to worry about it moving that much. But better be safe than sorry. It takes less time pinning things together than it does uh, ripping all of your seams and doing it again. I 
definitely didn't need that one. to request something except as I was saying that I just remembered that I don't have it um, on. I don't have song requests on right now so I can't just let uh, uh, you guys pick. Why are you stuck already? Are we good there? We're good. Okay. You're in the way. What even are you? Ah. Whatever. Is that good? That's still pretty sick, but that's good, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna finish this piece here and then I'm gonna go put on some music. Uh, I don't know what to put on exactly though. Oh, I didn't loop the thread under the foot. There you go. So, 
Mm. That's good, right? Uh, this bit I don't really love, but I think it's gonna be okay. Okay, I have to go all the way around to put on music. Okay. Yeah. Let's see, what do I want to put on? Um, instead of actually seeing what I'm doing. That's better. Okay, that's a little bit too loud for me though. I hope it's good for you guys and that it's gonna be good once I start sewing. I haven't tested it out. If anyone is in chat, please tell me if the I need to mess with the volumes and stuff. That's better. That's good. 
good enough, I guess.
I've said it already, uh, I've put it in the title, but yeah, sorry if my machine is a little bit loud, it's kind of an old machine, so it'll do that. So this has to go with that. 
about right. Well, yeah, that looks good. Well, it's looking a little bit weird right now, but it's gonna be good once I iron it and once I'm actually wearing it. Okay, let's do the other side. This to be on this, on this side to be under here. So let's start from up this time. This can go on here, and this has to go with this. So far, so good. And then this notch has to go with this notch here, and this in like that. Uh, a 
that that's just this side. Just lace, and then that's my shoulder. I don't know if that's clear, uh, but yeah, I want to do that, so I'm gonna put it this way and sew it together, and then I'll sew the lining.
front piece pretty much done. There's just a little bit left to go, but I'm gonna go straight into the back piece. Where did I put the back piece? Is this the back piece? That is the back piece. That's the back piece. So, uh, right sides. Is, do I have it? Mm. For the front, 
Did I decide I needed... I do need darts, I see them. Okay. So let's put this bit aside. Take a sip of water. Mm. Hi Indy! Uh, I'm s I don't know uh, if you've been here for long, I just noticed you talked in chat. Uh, how are you doing? Are you able to keep an eye on chat? I'll be here. At me if you want me. Okay. So, yeah, I can keep an eye on chat, I just haven't been. But hi! Eh, eh, eh. Hi! <laughs> how are you doing today? Okay, so yeah, next up I want to do the darts, which are undecided. <laughs> so I see you guys won't be able to see anything, will you? Nope. Uh, so I have to do it from there to there. Hold the shoulder part, connect from front to back. It'll, um, wait, where did it, where did I, oh, I threw it there. It'll just be, uh, yeah, front to back, I guess. It'll be front here and back here. And they're gonna, connect like that and there's the armhole and that's uh, gonna be it and this is gonna look much better of course once the lining is actually put in okay uh, so as i was saying darts go from there there and up to that. So it all evens out. So yeah, this is the lining and this little dart I just did is gonna adjust for my boobs. Gonna do one on the other side now. like lining fabric because it's usually pretty slippery. Actually all of the fabrics I'm working with right now are kind of slippery. So that's fun. Because they would just slip off each 
other half of the bed. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, oh, okay. I guess it didn't go right because now there's a hole in it. So I gotta do that part again. Uh, but yes, silk is very slippery, and silk on silk is not a good combo. It's my thing. Did it just to fall off, or is there a problem? Eh. Don't do this at home, actually. I shouldn't. Do it. You okay there? Um, actually, I just agreed with you without thinking, but um, you are talking about silk, and what I have here is satin, it, it's not silk. Uh, a lot of people confuse it because uh, fabrics are called by many different names, some are, some are called by the fiber it is, like cotton or silk and others are called by the uh, the way it looks, I guess. I don't know the proper word in English, uh, but like satin is not a... Eh, eh, eh. Satin is not a material, it's just the fact that it's shining, it's the way it's... Um, Woven, I think is the right word in English. Uh, it's the way it's woven to make it more shiny that makes it a satin. So you can have silk satin, but you can also have um, cotton satin or wool satin, I think, even. Like you can have satin pretty much anything. So silk is not actually necessarily slippery. If it's um, a silky satin, then yeah, it's probably going to be slippery. But silk can actually also be pretty rough. But I know it's pretty confusing. I was just bringing up the silk because they were slick like the things you are working up uh, they're working with that means it's satin because yeah like I said the them being slick and shiny is because of their armor which is the way it's woven so that makes them satin doesn't necessarily mean they were made of silk But they could be, like silky satin bed sheets are definitely a thing. Okay, how does this look? Good enough for something that's going to be inside and not be shown to anybody or anybody ever. Uh, and I didn't have any darts in the back. I see what you're saying. Okay, good. I wasn't sure I was making much sense, because I know all of the vo vocabulary for it in French, but not in English, so... Okay, so you can get off for a little bit. Okay, so, I have to actually think about this. Now, I want this to be like that. That and then I want this to go like this. Yes, okay, like that. Had to <laughs> think about it for a second there. start with the back then because it's going to be easier to sew that way and the back doesn't really have a front side and a, uh, a right side and a wrong side so doesn't really matter 
this is the front bit. I believe there were silk seven though. Okay, that's very possible. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm sandwiching all of my layers with the lining so that once I so once I sew it the lining is going to go on the inside and the lace is going to peek out of the bodice like that. That's what I'm doing. Hopefully this works out. The back shouldn't be very hard. To, um, actually I should, yeah, I have to sew the front and back together first. Wait, this? Oh, I'm confused again. Uh, sorry, I'm doing it on my knees so you can't see it, but... No, uh, this side. There. And so... Just do that. Okay. So, so these bits together this uh, by the way in the how's the volume for everything because I'm not sure like I haven't tested it with the music so I don't know how that sounds and I'm also a little bit worried that my machine is way too loud is noisy yeah and I guess that's one reason why it's good that I don't have an industrial machine because industrial machines are loud all the time whereas the this one is just loud when I'm actually sewing so it's a little bit better even though it's so freaking slow but that's just because I'm used to the industrial machines at school now Okay, so, did I do the right thing? Also, I just realized my shape is a little bit weird, but whatever. I did the right thing, right? I want this to be, oh wait. I want this. To go like oh no wait I need to go like that so that it's yeah okay I did the right thing <laughs> oh come on. correctly and that I'm not sewing the lace wrong. Okay, you go here. Is that about right? I can't see my middle. Oh yeah, there it is. 
it is. Okay, that's perfect so far. So that's good. Stuck on the lace a little bit. Pull on the lace. because they are hard to see because of the lace okay and then this bit is gonna be Oh, no, it, I put it up. That's normal. 
just one more thing I'm not used to anymore, this flips thing up. Because with an industrial machine you just have a, a pad thing uh, so you can put the foot up with your knee and it only stays up as long as you have your knee on the pad thing. Oh yeah, that's what I was, what I started saying and didn't finish. Uh, yeah, before I buy myself an industrial machine, I need an overlocker and stuff like that. Like, um, also a mannequin would be really useful. Because um, I can get by with this machine for now, but I just don't have any way of overlocking, so that's more important to me right now. I think that's good enough. I just gotta fix this bit because the shape is all wrong. Um, possibly, but I just took the headphones to ask her various questions, but she's in Congo at the moment. Yeah, mannequin would be good. Yeah. Um, actually, mannequin dress form? Are those the same thing? Because we use mannequin for both in French, so I'm not sure if I'm actually saying the right thing right now. I think they're the same? Uh, anyway, but yeah, I definitely need one of those, especially if I'm gonna be, uh, for my company, I'm gonna be, I'm not gonna be using my own measurements as a base, because I'm, I'm shaped weird, and that's not, like, I'm not degrading myself, I'm just not shaped uh, to the standards, like I'm a size 14, uh, 16 on top and 20 on the bottom, so that's... I can't use my own measurements for uh, the base for my company, so I have to... Uh, get a dress form that's going to be a good base for that. Mannequin is in English is the giant doll with clothes on in stores. Okay, then I mean dress form. Because a mannequin is plastic and you can't really, like you can use it to try on your clothes but you can't pin through it or anything so it's not super good to use when you're sewing and a dress form is made so you can pin through it and everything so yeah that's a much better shape. I don't know if you can see it, sort of, but yeah, this is much better. Okay, time to see if this is actually gonna work. And I put it on the wrong way. Then it, I, how the, uh, I have an image in my head of what the dress form is okay. Good. Well, I mean, it worked. Like on the outside, it looks like it's supposed to, except it needs ironing, but I can't iron it right now because my ironing board is where my camera is. Uh, so it needs a good iron ironing. But other than that, it looks good, um, except for the fact that I put it on the wrong way, and so the dart is hanging out, and my seam is on the wrong side. 
fait. First, that's not. Mm. Now I am a little bit mad at myself because that's a dumb mistake. I take the time to unstitch all of that and do it again or can I just keep it this way wait now oh, that also wasn't really supposed to happen but that's fine hmm I guess it's fine. Uh, if I was doing it like for a client or whatever, I would definitely unstitch that and stitch it back up. Cause it can't, it can't have that. Like the point of a of lining a thing is that you don't see this and it looks all nice on the inside. <laughs> do that properly but yeah since it's just for myself and it's short time like I have to wear this on Friday uh, I think I'm just gonna leave it like that uh, as much as it sucks Under stitch this or over stitch it. Mm. Under stitch it because I don't have the right blue and the black would look weird. Uh, like this Friday? Yes, this Friday. <laughs> Can you work on a replacement just in case and that way you don't get done you have that one? No, I don't have time to do to make two dresses. Uh, no, it's gonna be that and if it's I can't get it done then I'll, I'm gonna have to wear a dress I already own but it's nowhere near fancy enough for this uh, for the event so I really don't want to. But, you know what, uh, I am gonna leave the bodice for now and work on the skirt and decide what I do with this after I'm done with the skirt and probably after I'm done with the stream. Uh, okay, so skirt ah. this is my I wrote it I'm supposed to have wrote which one was my front and which one was my back did I not nope that's it just looks blue um I guess I didn't write it on this one, hopefully I wrote it on the other one. Oh, I did. This is my back. Okay, so... Let's try to put the opening for the zipper on the same side both times. Um, this is my back. So, wait. So, if 
goes like that and the zipper is on this side so this is the side that I want to sew all the way and I want to sew it to this side That's actually what I used, but oh, I did write it in the front too. You can't, I don't think you're gonna be able to see it. I can barely see it with my own eyes. The back is a little bit clearer. Well, you can see that something's written. You can't really, oh, there you go. I guess you can write, you can see that. That's um, short for back in French, by the way. Because I know it doesn't really mean anything to any English speakers, but it's short for back in French. And yeah, that's um, a tailor, a tailor's uh, pencil. So it comes off when you wash it or when you iron it. Sometimes it's enough. Uh, and then there's a bunch of different ways you can write it, write on your fabric and have it wash off. But ideally you want to test it out before you use it because some of the ones that say they are washable is, is not actually gonna come off in the wash, in the wash. Or it will on some fabrics, but not on others. So you gotta be real careful. Yeah, I saw it a bit on the uh, on the back. Good. I want to see how bad it would look 
if I did the hem normally on this satin. Um, versus doing a blind stitch by hand. So if I can do it by machine, that's gonna save me a lot of time. My music done? I think my music is done. Let's see. Uh, that actually doesn't look too horrible. Uh, I was kind of dreading that the thread. Oh, actually, in the light, it does look kind of bad. Like the thread really catches the light. You can really see it, but do you see it that much under the lace? That's a piece of my skirt. Piece of my skirt. I just want one layer of lace, please. Thank you. Uh, put it in the right side. Don't think that's going to change anything, but. Okay, so. You can barely see it now. And yeah, I think that's gonna be fine. I think I'm just gonna do my uh, the bottom of my dress like that because that's gonna that's barely visible. No one's gonna notice it uh, during a cocktail party that I'm not the star of. I'm gonna go put on some more music. Uh, let's see. Um, do I want to keep with the same kind of music? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do this thing that's one hour of medieval RPG music and game music. That sounds fun. Uh, how does it actually sound? Pretty much the same as the one we were we were listening to before, so that's fine. Okay, so I'm just gonna do my oh. Well, I am gonna do my the bottom of my dress like that, but I actually can't do it right now because I need to iron it in place and the, uh, my ironing board is holding my camera so I can't do that hmm um, what time is it? Erp. Oh, it's actually almost time for me to stop anyway, so I'm gonna keep that for after the stream is done and I'm gonna work on the lace bit of the skirt instead. Uh, but I am gonna take a little bit of lace, scrap lace, just to test something out because earlier when I tried to sew only uh, lace, it didn't go super well, so I just wanna see if it's gonna work. Oh, I also forgot that I was gonna do French seams on my skirt to make it all nice. 
I didn't. That's fine. I'll bring in, bring it uh, to school at some point to uh, to finish it properly, I guess. It's gonna be fine anyway. But again, that's something I would not do if this was for a client or something like that. not what we want. That's not good. I guess that means the tension is wrong. Hmm. I'm gonna try to do a zigzag stitch with it to see if that's gonna be better. I'm also gonna try and on the fabric a lot more just because I don't want to mess with the tension of my machine because that would probably not work out super well There's debate about what the name is for that uh, that type of seam, and the French people from France call it an English seam, and Quebecers call it a French seam. And I think I think actually English people call it a French se French seam too. So. I think I'm saying the right thing. Oh yes. I mean, I think it was kind of hard for you guys to see what I was doing before, but working with the lace, I think it's gonna be pretty much impossible. So sorry about that. Um, Oh, um... No, that's okay. 
they do have to remember to tuck on it a little bit more than that. instead of holding it in the air like that. My teachers would not be happy if they saw me because they really hate it when people cut this way because there's no, there's not as much precision. But I am not caring all that much about precision right at this moment. Okay, 
Uh, I guess that means you're gonna be leaving in a little bit, which is fine, especially because I'm also gonna be ending the stream earlier than usual because the ironing board that's holding my camera is very much in the way of my husband's desk. Uh, so if he wants to go on his computer when he gets home, I'm gonna have to move. So I'm gonna end the stream as soon as he gets home. And then you sew again about 5 centimeters in. By the way, for the stitch. If you want better results, again, might be a good idea to iron your seam before you sew it more, but as I've stated multiple times, I can't, and the thread just broke. Why? But yeah, you get the idea of the seam, so you sew once and then you sew again, so that way the seam is all nice and tucked into itself. Eh, I don't know if you can actually see anything with the lace, but yeah. So, gotta fix my machine now. Hmm. I need to actually take it somewhere to have it checked and repaired and like have the tension worked on and probably re-oil it. I really need to do that but I just don't have the time or money for it right now. How's the jump search going, Indy? Since you talked about your co-workers and stuff, it made me think about that. I hope you don't... No, you don't have me on speakers. Because uh, I just thought that maybe if someone heard the person you're watching ask you about the jump search, that might be weird. But I doubt you'd have me on speakers. That'd be weird for me. It's a good thing this is a flowy fabric and a flowy skirt because my stitch is not as straight as it could be. Do 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 
go. So yeah, as you can see, the seam looks a lot neater from the outside and even from the inside it looks really neat because it's not all raggedy and there's no fibers going everywhere and it just looks nice. I am not doing the best job at describing this or showing it to you, I'm sorry. Would this look be better? Not really. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, so that's this side and then this side I want to do the same thing in the bottom of it but the top bit where there's eventually gonna be the zipper I don't want to do that because then that would miss that be in the way of the zipper but I also don't want to actually stitch it in with the zipper because then that's gonna be weird and like it's gonna be stuck there I don't, don't want that I don't I want it to be flowy and stuff exact same thing but not all the way to the end. really be able to see it because I'm doing it like over here but I'm just basically doing that like putting one skirt next to the other so I can see where it uh, where the zipper is gonna start so it's about here so I'm gonna actually a triangle notch there so I can see it and I'm only gonna sew until there. Not sure if any of that made sense but that's what I'm doing. Again and finish. 
finish up the seam like I did on the other side. it after the stream but yeah that's definitely what I'll be streaming tomorrow but uh, that's okay okay so I'm gonna end the stream now let's see if I have someone I can host uh, Bye everyone, bye Andy, and hopefully I'll see you all tomorrow.